this, this, this piece here you were telling me about? The title of this piece is This Ain't Our First Rodeo. And let me make sure, make sure it's rolling. It is rolling. Make sure it's our first. This ain't our first rodeo. There we go. There we go. And the, so the top images are kind of a broad brush of the, you know poor communities and what's happening to them today. Yeah. Gentrification. Now we're in, we're in Mont Haven right now, and they're building all these million dollar condos. Yeah. And you got the projects like right next to them. I mean, right. I mean it's. It's like what happened in the East Village. Yeah. And then uh, environmental pollution, they always put like the worst kind of industries uh, in poor neighborhoods. Obviously drugs and alcoholism. Uh, the next is teen pregnancy. And then the gun. Oh. The gun. And, uh, you know, crime. Yeah. Legislation. Yeah. Incarceration and old age. Oh. So these are the things that that people, you know, kind of look at our community and think that this is the only thing that's in our community. Oh. But it's not true. I got you. Uh, you know, and you know, I don't know, you know, how many times we've gone through this trying to explain to people the depth and breadth of our communities, uh, what they have um, uh, given to the world, uh, that. You know, we all want the same things. Every, you know, it just, you have to say this over and over and over. Right, because you can cut through the stereotypes and the preconceived notions, that I, what I call the little boxes yeah. that they put people in, no matter what, no it's matter what, what people what. do. Yeah. And to break out of that, yeah. you know. And I, 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 yeah, yeah, I find this to be one of these things, a lifelong struggle. Um, for me too, you know, just to, you know, and for what you're saying is on a broader sense, you know, it affects millions of people. And you know, this is this is about poor people. Yeah, that's like everybody, right? right. <laughs> no, that, it's not anyone particular. So Big guy. Poor people. You know. The gap is just widening. No doubt. At an exponential rate. And when they build up this area in Montaigne, for example. Where's everyone going to go? Where are they going to go? Where can they go? I mean, where can these, where can these people go? Yeah, I, I don't know where they find these people that can uh, pay five thousand dollars a month. It's unbelievable. For... I I don't get it. <laughs> I, I I wonder too. You know the guy. The rent is too damn high. Party that the rent is too damn high. Party. I've seen him down the lower yeah. side. I mean, theoretically, the people outnumber everybody. That you know? is, but that has rarely, you know, made a difference. Right. It's, it's weird. It rarely made a difference. It's really weird. Because the people really, they're not armed. Right. You know? Right. And if you look at even the peaceful, like the, the Arab Spring, it's worse now. Than, I mean, it changed for a second. But then, of course, the people who were like, in control, you know, kind of yeah. put it back. I mean, look, let's put this way. Fascism stands on two feet. A right foot and a left foot. And that's what's really happened today. These two kind of opposing feet are doing the same thing, but only from their point of view. Very discouraging. I, I can feel that sometimes I see that. So moving on, look at this here. The tennis piece is Say My Name, and it is um, the infant braces that they put in the hospital. But these are all the names of people killed by police. Because everybody is someone's kid. Right? Everyone is someone's child. And what you can't hear right now is that this is a photovoltaic um, music box. Yeah. And the song that's playing is Strange Fruit by uh, Billy Holiday. Strange Fruit. Yeah. 
The southern trees bear a strange fruit, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And, you know, of course, I can, you know, wind it up and the ballerina will spin around. And that's a kind of a nod to uh, the Emmett Till case where, you know, the um, it. Uh, Carol Bryant recanted uh, uh, that Emmett Till kind of whistled back her. And because she said that to her boyfriend or her husband, they killed him. They, they killed him. Yeah. And they were acquitted. Right. Right? It just came up again. And recently they found the arrest warrant for her. Yeah. Which was buried somewhere in the courthouse. Right. Yeah. And then they what they threw it out or something. Right? You can't hear it because of that. Wow. What about these? It's rolling, we got it, we're getting it. <laughs> uh, the title of this is We Will Control the Horizontal, We Will Control the Vertical. And, you know, it's a play on the Outer Limits, which was like a 50s, 60s oh. TV show. But if you notice, these colors are the same. They're repeated here. Oh. In this. So all of these things tie together. Oh. Right? Oh. And then the title of this piece is White Universe Black Hole. Yeah. And then these pieces are No. We will control the vertical and we will control the horizontal. So that there's a conversation going on between these these two works. With this kind of, you know, the, the black hole sucks in light, and this would probably be called the event horizon. Yeah, right. It's the, it's the point at which light can kind of come out. Meanwhile, it's just kind of, it's trying to get away, but it's definitely. And these are like all the colors in the rainbow saturated in black. Right. Well, black is all the colors, right? The white being the absence of color. What is it, Doug? It's got a What's the significance of the colors on the periods? Okay. It's the particular colors that you said were needed the Well, you can just see the colors that are repeated. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, color. Like prime, primary? Oh, no, no, yellow. Um, the rainbow. talking about control, they're talking about control of everybody, everything, not just a particular group of people. It's, we will control horizontal period. Right. We control everything. That's what, that's what I'm Are you hip to like the uh, spectacle? The society of the spectacle, that kind of thing, like with Gideon Borg, it was like, the spectacle yeah. controls everything. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, like, I shy away from that. That's philosophy yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. because next week it's something else. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like I'm kind of like, you know. Yeah. I don't, I, I, it reminds me of that because yeah. for him, you can't, you can't, it's like so powerful, it's crazy, and, and it's it's almost impossible to defeat. Like, you know what I mean? You can't, well, I don't know, it's, it's just it's crazy. Thing about it, it's just, it's seductive. The Western philosophical tradition is seductive. Right? I mean, even though you have the uh, fact that older than that and probably more accomplished, but for some reason it's just, you know, it just has this power. It's, you know, it sucks you into it. It just sucks you into it. And with like the event horizon. Yeah. Now you were telling me that these represent, what was it, the, uh, the children who were massacred in Guerrero, there were 43 students. Um, and as it turns out, it was the, um, the federales and the cartels were involved with it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then the government um, kind of covered it up. Oh. Because in that state, those groups were tightly connected together. It was in Mexico? 
Guerrero, the state of Guerrero. Oh, the state of they Guerrero. They were going to protest. This group, this, these student teachers came from a very radicalized um, teaching college. Oh. And they commandeered a school bus. As it turns out, that bus belonged to the cartel. Oh, maybe I heard about that. This is this huge international oh. story. And they just arrested the former uh, attorney general of that state, I believe. And oh. they had like 87 arrest warrants for cartel people, oh. soldiers, oh. you know, oh. judges, and they kind of hope, you know. Oh, and, 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 and so, I see. There's a. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I guess coming right back to the. That's. That's. I wasn't sure what. I, I got confused at first, but thanks for explaining that. But I mean, also, I mean, you know, those are evidence markers. So. Oh, oh I see. So, so it would be like the so it's, it's exhibit A. Larger, it's larger than that. I mean, it's larger than that. It's, it's, it's just. It's, about like mass shootings and gun violence. I mean, it's focused on this incident, but, but it's, it's, it can be, you know, everywhere. Yeah. Be, yeah. Uvalde, you know, it doesn't matter. That, see, that's what I was getting confused with Uvalde, right? That was what it was. That, thank you. It, it, isn't, what it, was. it isn't generated from that. I see. Right. So, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, now I know like I started shooting and the thing wasn't rolling, but we were on this, this uh, sperm of the revolution. How do you say? Book sperm. Book sperm. Keep it simple. Yeah, book sperm. All right. And uh, these, these, these books uh, are, are revolutionary books. Political books. There's books about feminism, uh, new, new Jim Crow, uh, and you can see this is like the that little light up here. Yeah. That's what you use when you're kind of making a video to post online. Right. So you want to have the best lighting, you know, on your when you're talking about you want to be in the best light when you're talking about the revolution. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And we're looking at. Oh, 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 I, I had, I had that book. Yeah. Because uh, I know that uh, it'll be good to turn people onto these titles. Like we were saying, you you you, you fashioned or created these uh, maquettes, kind of of yes, books. Yes, they're all handmade. Yeah. 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 There we go. And yeah, this is BX cable. This is what they use for electricity. Yeah. Right. For, for electric wires. Yeah. Yeah. BX cable. Yeah. It's electric. It's electric. <laughs> Yeah, the revolution will not be televised, it'll be live and it'll be electric. I like that. I like that. I was saying that uh, Joe Lewis and I uh, go back about 40 years and uh, it's good to see you again. And thanks for the explication. Sure. Of your work. And I wanted to share this with some young people and others uh, that hope. Yeah, the exhibitions at Woolworths and will be up through the end of October. Beautiful. In the Bronx. Nice. <laughs> All right, good. Yes, sir.